welcome back to my channel guys thank you so much for subscribing if you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for stay tuned okay my peeps today i'll be making jamaica christmas cake rock food cake whatever we'll call it so guys go ahead and give this video some likes please hit that thumbs up and merry christmas when it comes so first what i'm going to do i'm going to add my butter so what i normally do remove the butter from the fridge for a period of time so it melt let's go in and add it and leave back that I might I will use that to grease the pan. So I'm gonna go in with my hand mixer and cream the butter. If you have a whisk, you can use that as well. So I'm just gonna put that on low and cream the butter. You want that to be nice and fluffy. I'm gonna add my sugar. It's one cup of sugar. Then a cream board together. We want that to be very creamy. Then remove that from the side. Go ahead and continue to mix that out. Alright, so that's done. Let's remove everything from the edge like that. Beautiful, very creamy. That's what you're looking for, people. Put it aside. So I have five eggs there. So we're gonna whisk that out. So I have my, so I'm just gonna grate that in. So I'm gonna use lemon. If you have lime, you can use it. So I just use the lemon zest into the egg. What this does, it doesn't make your cake raw and it also gives it a nice flavor. Because if you're using this much egg, then yes, without putting some lemon zest in there, yeah, it will taste a little raw. Smell a little raw, I'm sorry. You just zest that in like so then put a little more and that's fine just gonna go ahead with my whisk and just whisk that out take your time I'm gonna pour this in the butter and sugar mix. And I'm just going to gradually add it. So people, you're gonna put your oven on 350 and we're gonna bake this for an hour and about 30 minutes. So that's fine. Yeah, there you go. Nice. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to add brown into this. So this is like six teaspoon. I'm not going to use all of this. I use about five. A little, little. Whisk that out. Little more, don't want a lot of people because you don't want your cake to be bitter. Mm. 
Okay. Hold that in with my spoon. Like that. In with another mix. I'm gonna put it aside and I'm gonna go in with my dry ingredients. So I have my strainer here, the flour. We're gonna sieve that like that. And I have teaspoons of cinnamon teaspoon of non egg as well add my salt in teaspoon of that that's good also going in with a teaspoon of baking powder so what I did I prepare my fruits ahead of time so I have my fruits there that I steam, so I have prune in it. And I also have cherry in there and I have raisin. And I do go ahead and st um, strew it with some red label wine and white rum. That's how I do my foods. All right. I just put my flour aside. So I have my baking tin, I'm going to grease the pan, Put some butter, yeah, a little bit more, cut around the edges, like that. And I have my parchment paper, what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut that. I'm just going to go in with my scissors. Cut that like that. I need this for the bottom of the pot, the pan. I'm going to put it in like that. So it's stick to the bottom, like that. And to the side of the thin. Let me just cut this. There's different ways that you can place your paper, parchment paper in. This is easier for me. Get a little more butter because you want it to stick like that. Perfect for me. Perfect. Into this side as well. Just spray it for it to stick on. That's beautiful. I'm just going to go ahead and just cut those edges off. So that's good. So we're just going to add one and a half teaspoon of vanilla. Like that. So I'm using my wooden spoon to mix that in. And then I'm going to add my flour little by little into this mixture. Okay, so I'm going to add my fruits in. So I'm going to add it little by little. Like that. And I'm going to mix that in. Use my wooden spoon to just mix everything in like that. I'm going to go ahead and put more in there. Like that. And just mix that in. Make sure that is mixed out properly. So what I'm going to do, I have almond essence. I'm going to add this. You can go ahead and you can use your rose water. But I love this so much when I'm making my cake. So I just put a 
teaspoon in there and just mix that in so I'm gonna add some of this into another cake pan all right so this is not the color that I want so I'm just gonna go ahead and add a little bit more brown into this just a little bit more so I have my brown in should be fine all right then I'm going to add my dry mixture into this You do you had when this is mixed out so if you don't have a wooden spoon you can use your waist to do so this part I like to use my wooden spoon to do this you mix it out make sure that all of the flour is mixed out when you had your flour Yeah, the dry mixture. We have a little more. Okay, people, so this is how you want your mixture to look when you're done. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and add this into my baking tin. The rest of it heading out to another thing. We're okay, going to go ahead. Okay, don't want it to be bubbled. Yeah, always just knock it down like that. And I'm going to add a little more to this. Like that. You don't want your cake to have any bubble in there. So you go ahead and do it like that all right and then it's ready for the oven so i'm gonna put the cake in for it to bake and if you see i have some water there the reason for that i put it there so the cake doesn't dry out okay guys so my cake is finished so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna test it so you just get a knife you just put it in there like that when it comes out like that it's bake or to the sides you can just go to the sides like that when it comes in like that your cake is baked. so i have some fruit wine here um red label wine and white rum here i'm just gonna spray it on the cake so you can get that nice moist so you just spray it like that let's get a spray bottle and just spray on top like that so that's fine I will I leave it there to sit for another 20 minutes and then ready to go. Okay guys, so this is the cake. As I was spraying my alcohol on, so I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna cut a slice. Go in and just cut down like that. And do the same there, just cut a piece lovely I'm gonna remove it like so very nice and moist lovely okay guys this is the end of my fruit cake I hope you learned something I'm gonna dig in right now Merry Christmas when it comes Thank you so much for watching that video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, share, and let me know in the comment section what you like to see I prepare next. Don't forget to hit that good old notification bell so you'll be one of the first person to be notified when I upload another video. Bye for now.